ओके गुड इवनिंग ऑल्सो गुड मॉर्निंग नाउ वी रेडी टू स्टार्ट अवर इवनिंग सेशन एस वी यूजली स्टार्ट वी स्टार्ट विथ मिथ्ता सुत यू ऑल कैन जॉइन विथ अस टू चैट मिथ्ता सुत विच इज इन यूर स्क्रीन keeping your palms together let's chant mitta sutta may all beings be happy and secure may all may beings have happy minds whatever living beings there may be without exception weak or strong long large medium short subtle or gross visible or invisible living near or far born or coming to birth may all beings have happy minds let no one deceive another no despise anyone anywhere neither from anger nor ill will should anyone wish harm to another as a mother wishes her own life to protect her only child even so towards all living beings one should cultivate a boundless heart one should cultivate for all the world a heart of boundless loving tenderness above below and all around unstructured without hatred or resentment whether standing walking or sitting lying down or when they wake one should develop this mindfulness this is called divinely dwelling here not falling into erroneous views but virtuous and endowed with vision removing desire for sensual pleasures one comes never again to birth in the womb sadhu 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 now we can start to develop our metta thoughts developing metta thoughts ourselves we can spread around the universe going by place by place to start our practice having comfortable seats take a breath deeply and widely let it go slowly and be relaxed again take a breath let it go slowly be relaxed your mind is relaxing also your body again take a deep and long breath and let it go slowly be relaxed your mind is calming relaxing it's come to this moment present this present moment is the most important moment it's happy no worries no matters no conflicts no hatred no desire no anger no any other defilements your mind is calming also your body relaxing enjoy this relaxation imagine your own picture in your mind move your mind head to toes through your mind generate loving friendliness towards to to yourself may i be well happy and peaceful 
May I be well, happy and peaceful. May I be well, happy and peaceful. Developing and developing metta, we can come to in certain degrees, making that compatible development, and then we can share this met met this metta with others. We can go place by place. In next step, we can share this metta thoughts with my family members, friends, relatives, and neighbors. Be well, happy, and peaceful. My family members, friends, relatives, and neighbors. Be well, happy, and peaceful. My family members, friends, relatives, and neighbors be well, happy, and peaceful. Next step. All living beings in this country, may they be well, happy, and peaceful. All living beings in this country, may they be well, happy, and peaceful. All living beings in this country, may they be well, happy, and peaceful. All living beings on this continent, may they be well, happy, and peaceful. All living beings on this continent, may they be well, happy, and peaceful. All living beings on this continent, may they be well, happy, and peaceful. All living beings on earth, may they be well, happy, and peaceful. All living beings on earth, may they be well, happy, and peaceful. All living beings on earth, may they be well, happy, and peaceful. All living beings in this galaxy, may they be well, happy, and peaceful. All living beings in this galaxy, may they be well, happy, and peaceful. All living beings in this galaxy, may they be well, happy, and peaceful. All living beings in the universe, may they be well, happy, and peaceful. All living beings in the universe, may they be well, happy, and peaceful. All living beings in the universe, may they be well, happy, and peaceful. All living beings in this galaxy, may they be well, happy, and peaceful. 
All living beings in this galaxy, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings in this galaxy, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings on earth, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings on earth, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings on earth, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings on this continent, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings on this continent, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings on this continent, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings in this country, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings in this country, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings in this country, may they be well, happy and peaceful. My family members, friends, relatives and neighbors, be well, happy and peaceful. My family members, friends, relatives and neighbors, be well, happy and peaceful. My family members, friends, relatives and neighbors, be well, happy and peaceful. May I be well, happy and peaceful. May I be well, happy and peaceful. May I be well, happy and peaceful. Being in this metta enhancement, let's focus to practice mindfulness of breathing meditation. In mindfulness of breathing meditation, we are going to pay full attention to our breath, inhalation and exhalation. Completely focus on your breath, breathing. Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. When you are breathing in, you feel. When you are breathing out, you feel where air is touching. You feel what is happening with your lungs what is happening in, in your abdominal area. You feel your belly is rising and falling. You feel lungs are filling with air. When you are breathing, Breathing in, breathing out. Watch your natural breath. Relaxing, calming. It's develop your happiness. It's develop your peace. 
Comfortably breathe in, comfortably breathe in, out. You can uh, you can select at a place according to your experiences. Keep there your mind and watch your breath, inhalation and exhalation. Be aware whether it is short breath or long breath. We inhale short breath. We inhale long breath. We exhale short breath, we exhale long breath. Be aware whether it is short breath or long breath. You can develop your awareness mindfulness through your practice you can see starting point of your breath changing of your breath departing of your breath breathing in breathing out The breath is most important for our life. But this not but this breath is not me. This not myself. Breath is impermanent, which is impermanent, that is full with suffering, which is impermanent and suffering, that is not me, my, myself. Breathe in, breathe out. Take your time and practice mindfulness of breathing meditation. Whenever you notice your mind is out of its meditation object, come back and start again. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out.
May the suffering be free from suffering. May the fear struck be free from fear. May the grieving be free from grief. So too may all beings be. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Thank you. Then we can start our QA session. Uh, there were a few questions. I There were a question, but I don't have in my email. But it's okay, I can, I remember the question. The uh, question was, uh, someone was asking, in his house has cockroaches, ants, and so many creatures. Mm. And then he asked, uh, uh, can I do Khanda Pirit chanting <laughs> to remove them from their house? Okay. <laughs> this is uh, very good things to know. Yes. Uh, Khanda Pirita is exactly delivered to uh, blessing upon all these uh, creatures, particularly uh, there, there was a uh, incidence behind that uh, discourse. Uh, Buddha delivered uh, as an answer for that uh, uh, conflict. But anyway, Buddhism is not something that you can gain results just chanting or just reciting. Buddhism is a practical application. You should apply it to your day-to-day -day life. Applying that application your day-to-day -day life, you can gain, you can enhance through that application. This is very important to understand about Buddhism. So, instant to chant in Kanda Sutta, better to clean your house better to arrange it uh, clean and nicely and then you may able to get rid that suffering from you. This is the best solution. Even ourselves, we have that problem in here. These days, Bhante Dhamma is working on that uh, because now uh, the environment is changing, warming up. Uh, those creatures who... Uh, they, those creatures come to us to find some food. During the winter time, they were hibernated. <laughs> they, now they, they need food. I mean, if there is food, that's why they come to see you. If you don't have any food for them, they don't. They, they might not come to see you. They might go to some other place. Uh, so, instead to just chanting, I mean, better to chant it. That's fine. You can use these discourses. You can spread that positive energy in your through uh, through these discourses in your house, and you can change some completely negative energy into positive energy, spreading that vibration in your house. That's something else. But to get real solution, you should clean the place, and you should. Uh, not allowed to keep any food outside for them. This is the main cause, main reason why they come to your house, your place. Uh, 
Yeah, second question. For embryo to take place, it has to satisfy three things. Union of mother and father. Uh, mother is in uh, perilite period, uh, perilite period, and third one is Gandhabha is present. So my question is, can the Gandhabha choose the parent as becoming his condition by craving and clinging? Craving and clinging is a nature for all mundanes. Mm. Who not attain enlightenment, they are supposed to take place after their death. Therefore, craving and clinging is there with them. Yes, that Gandhabha, Gandhabha, the Pali word, uh, Gandhabha is not a creature. Gandhabha is your consciousness. That consciousness, full with karmic energy and all other uh, things that you accumulated in your previous lives. So, it can decide, it can decide where wanted where it's want to go where want to take a place as birth it can decide it has that power uh, you might remember previously we were talking about uh, chuti chitta and pratisandhi chitta uh, to change chuti chitta into pratisandhi there are few steps uh, kamma kamma nimitta gati gati nimitta all these are the things that it's happening, uh, the consciousness of Gandhabha is deciding where I want to go to born, to take place. It's happening. Uh, it is the nature of Gandhabha. So Gandhabha means uh, mundane consciousness, that consciousness has Collect, collectiveness and clinging all these desires, angers, hatred and also wholesome thoughts, wholesome karmas. Everything built in. Okay. Next question. How can we follow the teachings of the Buddha in this complicated 21st century? The other day, you spoke about birth and death. Both of these occurrences are different due to modern scientific and medical advances. My question is about the death. As I understood, you mentioned that this is, the decision should be made by the professionals. But talking to friends who have been faced with these situations, it is the family that has to make this hard decision. It is considered to be considered to be uh, somewhat of a artificially uh, prolonged period, may be suffering to the patient due to modern medicine. So, what do we do, Buddhist, Buddhist living in the 21st century? Thank you. Okay, that's true. I mentioned it, I mentioned according to healthcare proxy, you should make that decision, not the professional. But according to Buddhist view, that that job part of their the, those professionals, not not for us according to Buddhism. Buddhism and uh, law two different things. <laughs> uh, but very important thing, in this 21st century, you mentioned here, we have a lot of developments with our medical equip equipment and modern science. Dhamma is timeless. Akaliko dhammo, sandittiko akaliko. So, uh, in this world, how, how many improve i mean which way you improve your science and technology it doesn't matter 
you you can use this dhamma as an application to apply your day to day life practicing dhamma is something applying all these technology is something else these two things you can get together and you can use together because buddhism is buddhism i mean came to this world 2600 years ago even though none of the teachings of the buddha no one none of them can none of one can refuse okay this is not suitable for this life this is not suitable for this time period this is only for past past already past past therefore we not supposed to use teach this teachings no one can so that no one can say that because say so because this dhamma mainly focus to develop your insight not your materialistic life how we can gain how we can gain our qualities for our own liberation this is the main purpose of practicing dhamma we use this dhamma as application for our own liberation for our own liberation but modern technology and science we use benefits for our physical body uh i can give a uh, very simple things to think about uh, think about yourself buddha developed his mind and he liberated from all the defilements from his mind and then he explained the path how we can liberate ourselves so all these techniques what buddha invent based on to develop your mind to develop your thinking ability to develop your calmness quietness your concentration why we want to develop our concentration concentration is the path for your wisdom this is the main purpose of buddha teaching so we use buddha's teachings to develop our concentration through concentration we can penetrate the reality with the that is the wisdom the reality realizing the reality we can liberate from all sufferings this is the main point main point of our practice the teachings of the buddha this point is not just only for buddhists this is not only for human beings this is for all living beings if they can if they have if they can think deeply and widely they can use this method for their life for their own liberation uh, we might think with the development of all these materialistic things we might think all the time oh we can change even our death we can change or we can postpone the day when we have to die we think in some way but comparing the uh, life who were, i mean uh, comparing life what we had in our previously in this society and today life with today life we can see so many differences during the buddha's time our age age limit was 120 during the buddha's time even though buddha did not live that much but that's the average limit 120 but today today average is 75 and 74 some particular countries have 79 or 78 then 
how do how we can say modern science and technology improved expand our lives lives how can say already it decrease not only that there are so many life threatened threatened diseases we can see in this modern society now today we are suffering because of covid 19 still we don't know how this virus started what's the reason for this virus but we can assume this reason is our unhumanistic behavior we, this reason is behind this reason definitely we can see unhumanistic uh, activities behavior so we develop our mind to be good human being and finally to become superb human being with superb qualities that's the purpose therefore buddhism is the buddhism is not just only for uh, time when was the buddha it is akalika it is timeless we can apply this method we can gain same benefits how was those days and same benefits we can even apply in, in correct way we can use same benefits uh, today and also in the future also someone trying to practice apply this method they can get same benefits okay there are four questions in the screen but i would like to finish the questions but came through our emails that we that we got through our email okay i had heard pante spoke that if we are pure and diligently practice buddha's teachings metta bhavana and all virtue we might at times attract other beings seen or unseen being that might be near us or for certain purpose or help my question is metta benefit states deva celestial beings animal will protect you will some of the devas or unseen being spirit appear physically to us how do i remove my fear if i had the opportunity to meet this occurrence in future don't worry no, no one no one will come to you to appear in front of to protect you there are certain uh, celestial beings according to the buddha's explanation there are so many realms where we can see living beings different kind of living beings and devaloka or celestial beings belongs to any of these realms this is the simple way that we can understand it when you are doing good things whoever surrounding around in you seen your actions wholesome activities they can be happy and then they are ready to make wishes, oh, he is such a good person. He is doing such and such a good things. He is this kind of person. He always help us, help others. He, he always do good things, benefits for others. You, in uh, saying in this manner, you enjoy the person who is engaged with that wholesome activities, his actions, you take as an enjoy, enjoyable object. Then you spread positive energy. You're ready to spread. You're ready to give positive energy, thinking, that per thinking about that person's action. Uh, 
This is the way how you create positive energy to yourself and others in same way. Deva celestial beings, when seeing our actions, they can enjoy it themselves and then they're ready to make wishes for us. This wishes make good wishes when you, you know, if you are happy. Very simply, you can understand if you are happy all the time when you are in your home, that place will become a very comfortable place for you. Whoever coming outside, they also get same feelings. Oh, that place is very comfortable. Some places, when we go to some places, we don't feel that comfort in that place. Why? We don't have good environment. Environment in, in here, not physical, non-physical, with good energy, with positive energy. We don't have. That's why we don't feel in that way. But we feel, particularly just think about if you are going to meditation hall, that meditation hall has very powerful positive energy. Because it's vib uh, the vibration already connected with positive energy. That positive energy makes us very comfortable. It's make very comfortable. In this manner, Deva rejoicing our wholesome actions. They make wishes for us and then they make, they create um, a comfortable environment with their good wishes for us. Otherwise, they may not come in front of you to protect you in any other reasons. And also, when you are developing your mind with metta, fear from uh, from fear might reduce from your mind, reducing fear, and then you develop your courage and determination which is very helpful. This is the way how we can create, how we can develop our protection. Okay, that's, that should be the, yep. Okay. Those questions, what are the uh, well, there's four. four questions? I mean, okay, I think these questions to answer these questions, I have to take time for that. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have to give, give wide ex explanation for those things if I'm not. So I think I would like to invite you to write to our email, ask bhante at pavanasociety.org, then uh, tomorrow we can discuss all these questions. Uh, then we can wind up today program, today evening session. And yes, uh, I mean you don't you don't supposed to just believe any of my answers. You can make arguments for that. You can make the uh, dhamma not the way you, that you can understand arguing, but making question and re-questioning, re-questioning and questioning. There there is opportunity to open our mind in white and we all share in each other then where there is opportunity to think in different ways and this is the way how we have to do our studies buddhism is not just something saying sadhu sadhu to accept buddhism is something that we have to investigate study so we, I would like to invite you to write all these questions. Uh, then we can discuss tomorrow evening. Uh, 
now we are ready to end our today evening session uh, during this time period we got opportunity to develop our insight and basically during this time period we observe precepts even though verbally we we not observe but mentally we already protected all these uh, uh, precepts then we develop our seal morale virtuous also we got opportunity to practice meditation and we got opportunity to discuss dhamma all these activities we use benefits for ourselves and benefits for others to reduce our defilements to in, uh, increase our qualities this is the main purpose of this practice this is the way how we create and develop our merits happy thoughts now it is time to share these merits with others basically we can focus to a, to our departed relatives friends and family members particularly uh, these days we are talking mostly we are talk about uh, we are talking about uh, uh, corona uh, due to corona there are so many people dying in the world uh, now this is the best time that we can share this merits with those departed uh, friends family members relatives uh, citizen of the countries uh, we can make wishes for them to have happy peaceful birth and in the sansaric journey may they able to attain ultimate bliss of nibbana having that aspiration we can share merits with the departed uh, uh, departed relatives friends family members and all other living beings also who are suffering because of covid 19 or any other sicknesses may they rejoice in these merits may they recover soon may they have comfortable peaceful happy life may they able to achieve their goals as they wish having that aspiration we can bless upon to all the sick people in this world having the aspiration say sadhu sadhu all and the sasana all other living beings reduce these spirits reduce in these spirits may they have peaceful happy life all you you all have happy and peaceful life whatever the wishes you maintain all your wishes come true by the power of these merits whatever the difficulties you have all your difficulties get rid by the power of all these merits having that aspiration we can end this sessions you can join with us to chant uh, final blessing uh, stanzas by means of these meritorious deeds may i never join with the police may i join always with the wise until the time i attain nibbana may the suffering be free from suffering may the fear struck be free from fear may the grieving be free from grief so to may all beings be from the highest realms of existence to the lowest may all beings arisen in these realms with form without form with perception and without perception be released from all suffering and attain to perfect peace excellent 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 thank you very much good night to west have a wonderful